You know, I just wanted to thank everybody for joining in over the days and participating in this session with us. Um, and for all the discussions that move our ideas forward, I wanted to remind us why we are here and you know why are we having these sessions? And it really goes back to the first day and uh, Jim Jim Jeske's talk on the emergent emergency of the climate change and how there's a, a really good chance of a dragon king, a significant event that we cannot predict that will ha really have a, a huge impact. And we don't know when that's going to happen. And I liked his idea that, well, you know, maybe it's going to be these rogue waves taking out our container ships, and then we don't get our Amazon packages anymore. And then people will want to take action. You know, I just, I really don't think we're being bold enough and forward enough. And, um, you know, th there's so much room still for discovery, but do we have the right systems in place to enable that discovery? I don't think we do. And, you know, this is, this is a well-known problem. I was just looking this morning at uh, something called the Day One Project sponsored by uh, the American Federation of Scientists. And, you know, they, people have plans for, hey, th we need to change this. We need to fund more uh, breakthrough, uh, bolder science and discovery, but that our systems currently can't do that. We need to fund more individual researchers, people that maybe are not affiliated with academia, or have a non-traditional sort of approach like the Unlab, or you know, I think of uh, Lance Williams doing all his great work on the Kaluza theory. You know, it's really hard to keep um, keep that sort of going under the current environment. Uh, just you know, just in our own direct experience at the Unlab, uh, you know, we got started by a grant from a uh, generous grant from the Navy. But it's been like pulling teeth just to get the funding that we've was already committed to us and taking so much work to do that. And then, you know, we've had the wonderful grant from the Limitless Space Institute, um, which, which uh, you know, was really helpful. But now, you know, as typical, well, now there's a funding gap and it's like, well, the work gets started and we get us to a certain place and then, you know, and then we have to scramble to keep the work going. And that, you know, that's a common problem. Um, people talk about it all the time. And it's just, uh, so that's why we bring up this idea of a national service program that could potentially uh, alleviate some of those issues. But also I wonder, you know, that, that's kind of the logistics part of it, but I also wonder about the, are we being bold enough? Um, and are we asking the right questions? Are we asking the deep fundamental questions that can lead us to a new discovery? Um, and you know, I think of things like, well, why, why does frequency equal energy? You know, we use that and, and it was hypothesized and it works really well and it's baked into all our math and you know, hey, it works great. Why is that? Is that really the right way to look at things? And I really liked what Igor said that, well, hey, it's a degree of freedom in our equation, or call it an entity, you know, uh, it doesn't really matter what we call it. And we see folks like uh, Wolfram and, and Yuval and John Bush uh, looking at new theories that can potentially explain things. And it seems like from these fundamental assumptions, you know, with Wolfram, a fundamental uh, unit that propagates with Yuval fundamental fluctuations that cause this behavior and can reproduce the physics that we know. And, um, you know, so maybe those are some interesting hints, but um, we have to take some chances, I think, and go with our gut. You know, I spoke about the different brains that we have, you know, we have uh, all the neurons in our, in our, um, lower part of our, in our um, intestines, et cetera, down here. And 
you know, so when we have a gut feeling, but it really means something. And, but we need to take some chances. And that's what we used to do at the Skunk Works. You know, we wouldn't get to the understand, you know, 100%, this is the way it is. But our intuition would tell us something and we would take a chance. And, you know, that leads to lots of failures, but it also leads to lots of successes and some new things that people thought couldn't be done.